Hello, my name is Mackie and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm actually currently editing this video right now and I read the favorite books from Jen from the Book Refuge. I absolutely love her and I really enjoy doing this vlog. Um, it has lots of ups and downs, so be with me. Um, so the first book without further ado, here we go. Bye. Hi everyone, so I am 40% or is it 45, 42% into the Soul and Ear book and I kind of have like mixed feelings about it because I liked how the chapter started, like the, I like how the book started but I'm just, I feel like, okay, so we'll start from the beginning. So, Nessa um, is kind of the, not naive, but she's just such a sweet girl. She just doesn't really do anything. She's not really involved in the family, in the family's business. Um, so, it is a mafia book. So, her family is in the mafia. Um, but she just doesn't really pay attention to that she just goes to dance and that's all and she's such a sweetheart so she gets captured by Mikolaj who is a right he's in the Polish mafia and he wants the Irish family and the Italian family the he wants the Garros and the Griffins to pay for killing his dad so he captures nissa because she's like the pride of the family she's just such a sweetheart and i'm currently where she's just kind of chilling in his house in his castle um she's learning polish and i'm like girl why aren't you finding a way to run i mean i know she can't really run but in my head i'm like you can find a way to run um but that's just me being naive anyways um i feel like firstly i don't really gravitate to these type of mafia ones mafia books because i don't really like capture captive romances um it's just my preference i don't I'm not really a fan of it um because it kind of reminds me of human trafficking but that's not the case here um although she is kidnapped um <laughs> she's there against her will um it's not that deep but it's deep um i feel like they're not spending enough time together so that kind of just irritates me a little bit because for me to buy into um two characters falling in love even if it's instant love it's just do they spend time together are they involved in each other's lives like where is the meeting like i just want to see them together and I'm not really seeing that, so I'm kind of having trouble buying into... I think I'm going to have a hard time buying into the romance um, as it progresses because they literally just, like, never together. She's, like, in the East Wing, he's in the West Wing, or is it the other way around? Um, I'm not sure, but right now it's just kind of dull, and it's a Beauty and a Beast retelling. Um, I don't really care about that. Um, I don't mind it. I don't care for it it's whatever um but i'm hoping i like this book i i can see why it's a good book it has its moments but then it just goes down for me it gets kind of boring um and i just kind of want to see some action um but i'm hoping it gets better i'm hoping it's gonna give what it's supposed to give because it's one of jane's favorites and jane has really good taste she has phenomenal taste in books um like legit phenomenal taste in books um yeah that's what i'm hoping for and that is all i have i'm gonna continue with this audio book um and we will see maybe i'm gonna complain maybe i'm not i don't know bye hi so i am literally 60 percent into this book and i need a break so i am gonna tell you why i decided to do this um while i still have time while i'm taking my little break um firstly i really like jen like i really like her i really like her booktube channel i think i would like her as a person although i don't really know her that well i just i just see what she shows me like on instagram or on youtube 
so i'm just like a, a basic subscriber um but i really enjoy her take on things um so that's why i decided to do her favorite reads um next the first video was on chess because i feel like with each booktuber they give me something like with jess from peace love books she makes me want to read more she makes me like want to step up my game because she's just always like doing something and it's like oh my god oh my god do you sleep do you eat like are you okay are you okay like you're doing too much you need to sit down <laughs> i feel like I feel like she handles the pressure. Oh, I don't even think it's pressure. I just feel like she just breathes and like things are done. Um, so that's why I did her first because, um, like I said, each booktuber that I'm going to do because I have a lot more booktuber videos, reading vlogs that I'm going to do. Like it's almost like a taste, 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 but it's not. Um, yeah, Jen makes me. Jen makes me really enjoy books. Like, firstly, like, the beginning of the year, it's not August, I had probably two five-star reads, and then she has, like, six-star reads. I'm like, what? Am I doing something wrong here? Like, what's, what's wrong? Like, how, how, how am I only having two five-star reads? I'm like, is it, like, is it me? It has to be me. <laughs> it has to be me. Um so yeah she makes me want to enjoy reading so much because she is so passionate about the books that she loves and she cries yes i do cry but it's very rare like i think i cried like in three books and that was it um so yeah that's basically why i decided to do Jen next um yeah she just makes me want to enjoy reading and just like I don't know. There's just something about her. Like, you know, when people in life, you just see someone and you're just like, okay. I, I, I vibe with her. Um, but, anywho, let's get back to this vlog. Reading Stolen Air. I hope it gets better. I hope it gets better. Hope it gets better. Please get better. I love Sophie Lark. I love her. I love her. I love her. Please get better. Amen. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. Um, so it's the next day. I finished um, Stolen Air. And it gave everything it was supposed to give. It didn't give it what y'all said it was supposed to give. No, I wasted my money. It was good. Like, the last 50% of the book was amazing did I, I this is what i was expecting from sophie lark um yeah I'm, I'm i'm happy with the book um everything that i've said i wanted to see i saw um and yeah on to the next book we go i'm gonna read never seduce a scott i have it on audiobook um so yeah i will uh, tell you what's up later i can't concentrate i am hungry i am starving and i need to have coffee like i can't not have coffee in my life do you see me like i feel like i feel like a zombie i feel like a zombie like my eyes are smaller than normal and my eyes are small but like my eyes are smaller than normal i need coffee i need and I, I, I need to eat and then uh, we'll talk soon yeah guys i'll see you guys soon bye hi everyone um I just started um reading listening to the audiobook of the Never Seducer Scott. I'm three minutes in and I'm confused. So I don't know if it's because I haven't had enough coffee yet or what, but I don't know who's who. I keep hearing names, Montgomery, Graham. I don't know what's going on. So I'm just gonna read what's happening on Goodreads. I'm gonna read the blurb and then we'll take it from there. I've actually read two or three Maya Banks books but I read the um, I think it's Rush and Fever Rush and Fever the um, I think it was like a billionaire erotica type of novel and I haven't read uh, a historical romance in a while 
Okay, so Graham is a hero. Evelyn is a heroine. Evelyn, Evelyn Armstrong. So I'm guessing he is Graham Montgomery. Is it four or five? Okay. So let's go. I have coffee. It saved my life. I am back. I have high hopes for this book because I haven't read um historical romance in so long. Um so yeah that's what's up i'll talk to you guys later hi everyone um i finished never see scott and it was phenomenal like five out of stars i would say five out of stars who gonna check me huh? who gonna check me who gonna check me who gonna check me five stars it is well it was amazing it's like one of the best historicals i've ever read in my life and oh my gosh wow i don't know like so it's about two clans um armstrong and the montgomery's um they just like hate each other they like despise each other and it's during war times and stuff so they'd be like we'll go to war Bill will annihilate all of you and um it's like wow so the king the king of scotland decrees decrees so evelyn armstrong has to marry graham montgomery and they just do not like each other they don't like each other's families they don't like evelyn armstrong has to marry graham montgomery and they just do not like each other they don't like each other's families they don't like each other's clans um evelyn not really it's not that she doesn't like it but it's just she doesn't like them it's just like they're not your clan they're not your family so it is what it is and evelyn is like at the beginning when i was listening to the audio like i was a bit confused but she is deaf uh, and, but she can read lips so yeah she doesn't even understand she doesn't even know that she's deaf well she knows she's deaf but i don't know like i don't i don't get like does she not realize it or i don't know just during those times where not really you don't really think about those things but she did lose her hearing and graham kind of helps her like get her voice back literally um and it was just such a i'm like kind of tired so i'm maybe like saying the wrong things um it was beautiful like the way maya banks actually wrote this romance it started off at like a hundred and i was like okay how is she gonna keep me engaged for the next 10 hours um because i'm gonna get bored because i literally i get bored very very easily so i was like good luck to her i don't know how i hope this doesn't become a dnf because i will dnf a book if it's like traumatizing me i will give it a dnf if it's traumatizing me um but this book kept me engaged it kept me entertained the whole 10 hours of listening to this audiobook it was incredible oh my god it was incredible it was so beautiful like I felt like I was in Scotland like I literally felt like I was in Scotland like wait a minute I've never even been to Scotland like but this book just made me feel like I was in Scotland and it it was amazing it was amazing if you want to read a historical romance you should definitely read this one oh my god it was amazing okay so I'm gonna read run posy run in the morning I'm gonna start that in the morning um um yeah that is it for the day see you guys soon bye hello everyone um i've started run pause run and i'm like five pages in and i'm like what the fuck is wrong with this dario guy like excuse me how can you ever talk to someone like that Ugh, what an asshole um so i think it's a mafia romance um 
this girl has just been accused of doing something and she's like it's not me i didn't do it hello it's not me and he's like he's not buying it he is not buying it at all um i hope he doesn't kill her well i don't he can't kill her because the book is about her but it's a short book so he's not gonna kill her um so this book already it's bringing out things that i don't like i hate bully romances and he's been really mean to her so i don't like i don't like mean characters like you can be mean to everyone but don't be mean to the person you love yeah um that's why i don't vibe with bully romances or enemies to lovers i'm like oh my god like what is this cruel intentions i don't understand i just i i can't i can't deal with it um but since like a nice book uh, i think it will be a good book i really like posy i don't know why i just get good vibes from her from the book so yeah i'll be done with this book soon it's pretty short and on to the next book will go yeah i'm excited i want to read um ruthless creatures next or should i read filthy uh i don't know I don't know, filthy or with this creatures. I think I want to read with this creatures first because I don't know if I'm gonna like filthy. I don't know much about it, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's the cover that's throwing me off. But, anyways, see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, second time I'm doing this. Okay, so I am going to tell you guys about Run Posey Run by Kate C. Wells. Um, I already told you that I didn't like it before, but like I wasn't in not in the mood, but I wasn't the correct headspace to actually tell you why I didn't like it. Um, so firstly, what I've noticed is that like people don't like you when you tell them that you don't like their favorite books um especially when you give them reasons why you don't like their favorite books and you know what i always say is like there is no one book in the whole world that we can all agree on that it's the best so everyone has their own opinions everyone has their own stories everyone has their own triggers and everything so please don't be nasty about things yeah don't be nasty about things because you never know what someone's going through or you never know if someone's gonna come at you from the left side and just like destroy you okay anyways but just don't don't do that right here i don't know if they do that where you're from but where i'm from they don't do that shit. <laughs> i don't know how y'all do shit where you from but let me tell you something where i'm from we don't do oh, shit like that. that that's what i want to say about that um I'm not saying this about Jane. No. I think she might understand why I'm saying the things I want to say about Run Posey Run. Um, she's smart enough to know that I'm not being disrespectful uh, or just being a bitch about it. No, I'm just talking as a normal person. I'm allowed to have my own opinion. Okay. Okay. That's done. Um, I didn't like it because firstly the heroine was just she made me so sad what was her name again what is her name you know what i'm saying her name posy that's her name posy she just made me so sad like i just wanted her to just love herself and just choose herself and see the value that she has but that never happened or that did happen i don't know whatever um it's a fictional character so it's okay um and i also didn't like the hero i just i thought he was just i understand that he's a psychopath right and he doesn't feel the way we feel um as, as normal people <laughs> um i understand that i get that okay one of my one of my favorite books is just emotions and Nino doesn't feel like the way normal people feel. He doesn't have emotions. Um, 
that's what I'm trying to say. He doesn't have emotions. And I'm guessing Dari doesn't have emotions as well. He doesn't understand people. He doesn't understand... He doesn't understand basic emotions. That's it. And I just felt like, yeah, he didn't understand. But he was also really rude about it. I thought this book was going to go somewhere. Um, I thought it was going to be similar to Twisted Emotions. And it wasn't. And that was kind of disappointing. Because I like my psychopath heroes a certain way. And I think Nino from Twisted Emotions is just like the psychopath to beat. He is amazing. And also Priest from Dead Man Walking. They are the psychopaths that I usually gravitate towards or I fall in love with. I felt like he was really rude. Like the way he was talking about her. Like he would just say stuff like, um, she has daddy issues so she'll suck in one's cock. And I'm like, that is so rude. <laughs> that is so rude. And I'm like, he basically treats her however he wants to treat her. He's rude to her um but she also doesn't really explain things to him she doesn't really tell him things but he is also not in a position to actually listen to her and pay attention to her um so i guess that's both of their faults um and also there was a scene where they were in the car and like her stomach was growling and he's like what's that noise he was like irritated by it i'm like she's hungry she's starving she hasn't eaten you need to feed her hello um and it was just like little things like that it was just like boy i, I know you're a psychopath i get it but come on come on yeah I, I think you know someone has food someone has to take a shower someone has to have like a good place to sleep i think you know those are the basics um, um but he was just i don't know i don't know what's wrong with dario but he's not my cup of tea ladies and gentlemen and also there was a scene where he was literally killing someone killing his i think it was his security guard something a guard bodyguard um but the guard had like was playing both sides of the I don't know he did something i think he told on him or whatever and he was like literally annihilating the poor guy he was like beating him and like cutting his tongue and i'm like i would love to see your ass go against remo you would not win okay you're just picking on small people because you know he's not gonna fight you he's an employee like he's not gonna fight you um it was just little things like that. It was just not the book for me. And that's okay. If you like it, that is great. That is great. You have something that I don't. And you can see things that I don't see. Like, um, Jen was saying that she really enjoyed this book. Because she loved seeing how psychopaths fall in love. And I just, I didn't see it. But I understand where she was coming from. Uh... So, like I say, always listen to what someone is saying about why they don't like a book. Don't just, like, be rude and mean to them because that's not nice, bro. That's not nice. We're all entitled to our opinions. Um, I read Filthy by Serena Ackroyd. So, that one, I'm just not going to really read it because I, I was just, like I said, I wasn't really depressed like i was just like at a downward spiral by then i think run for the run kind of pushed me over the tip um so i really like Eva from filthy and she's a sexy character she's beautiful um but i just didn't like how their relationship was not based on it but it was just like very sexual and sex is fun sex is good right but it's like are you guys like gonna have a discussion are you guys gonna like do anything other than fuck like i want to need to see that soon enough but i was at a point where they can't have sex right now because something had happened to her um and i kind of just stopped so i don't think i have anything to say about that book i won't read it i feel like right now i'm just not in the mood for that type of mafia so i'm just gonna put it down i'm gonna put it down because i think jane deserves the best out of me and right now 
and then the base head hit space it's to read filthy so another day another time um yeah that is it i'm gonna read ruthless creatures um i'll be done with it soon and that will be the end of the vlog this was fun kind of it was hard difficult um but i think i came back better than ever well not better than ever but i pulled through and that's important so yeah see you guys soon bye hello everyone i swear i move like this is just like my recording spot and i just enjoy being him excuse the t-shirt it's game day today it's saturday this isn't like my team but it's my boyfriend's team so it's like gotta support him um my team is psg anyways this is about books um i'm currently reading ruthless creatures by jt gersinger gersinger get hmm i don't know how to say your name sorry my bad um and it is fabulous ladies and gentlemen it is beautiful so it's one of the first books that i've been reading after my little spell just haven't been okay like i said um and this one is really putting a smile on my face it's really amazing it's about cage and natalie and it's a mafia romance and i didn't know actually that what well actually i did know it was a mafia romance but the way i was reading it i'm like how on earth is this guy like a mafia guy because he like he looks like like jason momoa kind of kind of like zeus garrow from welcome to the dark side so i'm thinking like he must be like he must be like in a motorcycle gang or whatever but he isn't he is actually second in command he's in the russian mafia um brad Barrett, right? that's what you call it um and it's really awesome like it's it's just something about this book it's easy to read the characters are so much fun and i really like um Kate. i really like him he's really honest with her he's like i will never lie to you i might not tell you everything but i will never lie to me i'll never lie to you and once you're mine like you are mine and i know like jane really loves this book um i know there's like choking or something so i'm like i'm really excited to read that part um i'm on like page 200 wait i don't know what page i'm on i don't know what page i'm on but that hasn't happened um they've just consummated their relationship and he just killed a couple of people so that was cool um in real life it's not cool but in the book it's cool um and i'm really excited to read about the choking scene i'm really excited i just want to live out my fantasy like i know tmi but i just want to live my fantasy of like being choked because like i have asthma so asking my boyfriend to choke me is like he just looks at me he's like are you stupid do you want to die because you have asthma bitch <laughs> anyways tmi anyways i want to live my fantasy out in this book and i am very very excited i'm so happy i'm kind of out of my little spell um it's been really really tough on me um but that's why i love books because they just can take me to a different world and they just can make me happy and you know like i said it's game day so I get to watch football that also makes me very happy and my boyfriend is cooking so yay um okay i will check up with you guys and the last checkup will be like the video will be complete um i think this book is gonna be five stars i'm really really enjoying it it is amazing guys i'm trying to like learn how to do my eyebrows and it's i don't know i don't know and my face decided to kind of like i started having like a pimple here and this is like mosquito bites on my hands like i get a lot of mosquito bites that's my tat but yeah anyways guys i will see you guys later i'm so happy okay bye hi everyone i just finished with these creatures and oh my god it was amazing it was so hot oh my god my eyes look weird why do my eyes look weird anyways 
I would just like to say to Cage, marry me right now or I die. Marry me right now. Marry me now or I'm dying. <laughs> marry me right now or I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Now, I know you're real. I know you're real. I know he's real. Oh my God, he was, he was perfect. Like, I didn't think he'd be perfect, but he is perfect. And I just love Natalie and Cage together. It was so good. I loved the twists and turns and I loved the best friend. I forgot her name though. Um, but I want to read a book. I don't know if I want to like her. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But I enjoyed this book so much. Five stars. It was hot. And... Uh, it was amazing, guys. Definitely read this book. You will not be disappointed if you like Mafia. And that is all. I am done. The reading vlog is done. It's complete. Um, thank you so so much for watching. This was a bit hard to do, but I'm glad I did it, and I'm glad I, you know, got over everything. Well, not over it, but you know, I'm glad I'm fine now. Anyways, um, let me know what kind of videos you guys would like me to do next, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.